So you know what time it is. New Arena Showcase Airport. That's right. New. New rifle map in airport. Super, super pumped. And we also have Payback Pandemic this week. Or AKA Raid Boss. I am going to be loving it this week. It's really, really fun. So... We're going to discuss first gear, second perks, and then third, the juicy, juicy strategy part to help you better your score and get as high as possible up that chart as possible. Now, before we get into all of that, if you're new to the channel, subscribe, get that rifle out and shoot that subscribe button. It's absolutely free. Then you're going to want to hit that sub, um, notification bell. I'm sorry. So you don't miss any future content and you get the notifications in time. Because as you could see, when I do drop these videos, there's probably a day or f day and 15 hours left or two days left. Sometimes you might get a video two, three or four days late. So turn on that notification bell so you get this video on time. Next drop a like on this video it really helps me in the search guys and i appreciate the guys that do it every week drop a like on this video and then finally share share this information with your clan mates especially if you're the leader of a clan or a co-leader and you got young guys you want to train share this share this information with them it will make them better players and make your clan much better and more competitive so first off we're going to talk about gear and obviously this week it's the Marine Corp Vest. I have a level 12, pretty decent, but I'm expecting a lot of people to have this because this vest is easily acquired, pretty much any chest. Next up, you're gonna also wanna remember your win streak protection. It gives you three hours. So try and get that little coin right there that has the one next to it. Um, that's gonna help you just in case if you had one bad mission you know, so you don't restart back from win streak one. So that's very, very critical. You want to be playing at win streak eight as much as possible. That's how you're going to get your best scores. Now, for this week, when we move on the perks, I have a little bit of a surprise here. Honestly, guys, um, I have the multi kill in the first slot and killing spree in the second slot. I tried the killing spree and I wanted the kill spree to work, but I was getting significantly better scores this week with the multi kill in the first slot. And if you're new here and this is like the first time you're watching the videos, uh, remember that my slots are boosted. My first slot is at 10, second is at 8, uh, third is at 4, and fourth is at 3. And if you don't know what a boosted slot is, if you click on boost here, it will ask you to boost the slot. That pretty much makes the perk more effective the higher it's boosted. So um, that's what we're referring to if you're New Year's, if this is the first time you're watching a video. So I would recommend you multi-kill in your highest slot. So obviously here, tip number one, it's going to always be scope. And I know it seems so basic and it doesn't seem very important, but yes, it is. And I'm going to recommend for this mission in particular, you want to keep that scope between 3.5 and 4.2. That's the range that I think you should. And obviously, I'm going to explain why again, just like last week. You don't want your scope too big, then you, you're not, you're narrowing your view. So keep it a little bit low so you could see as much as possible. So keep that scope between 3.8, 4.2. That's my recommendation for this week and your tip number one. So tip number two is a combination of two things. So the first part of it is you need to take out that helicopter pilot. Because if you do, you will have a bigger score by the end of the mission and then the second part of tip number two is doing a reload transmission tran transition i'm sorry so to take out the pallet i'll recommend increasing your zoom sorry about that 
So to take out a pilot, I recommend you increasing your zoom to hit to um to shoot the pilot because he's only gonna give you a small little slither to aim at on his body. And after you kill him, you hit reload. And while your gun is reloading, you could ad adjust your zoom back down to the normal size wherever you want it to be. And that will make it a very smooth transition. As you'll see here in this little clip. So let's move on to tip number three. And tip number three has to do deal with four ears. And I've highlighted all four ears. So all these ears, you're gonna to wanna to be paying attention to after after you've destroyed the um, helicopter. First off is this big old blue box here. When the tanks and a few armored guys are kinda of like, um, getting together here and shooting at you. Um, it would be smart to blow up one or two bombers in this area. Now, as the mission goes on, you don't want to wait for all the bombers to come down to this area for you to blow them up because, because you will be losing too much time. It's not that you won't get a big bang, but you will be losing way, way too much time. Hence, as a reason, you won't have a bigger score now the part that has the circle around it after you've that after you've blown up a bomber in the square area you want to start focusing on where the circle is because two bombers are going to come from the right two bombers are going to come from the left and the four normally meets right here in the truck now if you want to do probably three or four times there that's great that's a good spot Actually, you could do pretty much the whole entire game there. But I personally think that if you're going to hit the high mark of, like, say, a high 60s kill or a low 70s kill, then as the mission comes down into the last 10, 8 seconds where the curve arrow is and the X, you want to start picking off the two bombers that are coming from there and hope that you could you know, do some collateral damage by killing guys who are just spawning off somewhere. And that's where I've seen to um, always get the best score. So again, the progression is after you've destroyed the helicopter, the box area, this blue box, get a bomber blown up there. Focus a lot of your bombing kills right in front of the truck next where the circle is. And as, the, and as the mission is winding down into the last 10 seconds, start picking off the two bombers that come from the right and the left deep, deep down into the map and hope that you could get some collateral damage. And I think that's tip. No if you do that for tip number three, you will be seeing a lot of, a lot of high 60s or mid 60s. And possibly if you're lucky, you could get into the 70s in terms of kill. Now, if you have a 45... Um, wind streak weapon you know or one that fa fires really fast you should get into the 70 70 kills pretty pretty easily okay so that's tip number three for me so tip number four is pretty easy and i'm pretty sure everybody's thinking that way but it's i just have to make it obvious when the bombers start running out focus on the bombers focus on the bombers that's tip number four Focus on the bombers. So tip number five is also a pretty simple, simple task also. But sometimes you got to remind people how to do it. And before I share this final tip, I'm just going to make my last call just to say, if you're here until this point, please, please subscribe, like the video and share it. Okay. It helps a lot. And if you're new, we welcome you to our community. So I'm going to talk about the last tip real quick. And then I'll run my gameplay for those who want to see it in full motion. And here we go. So the last tip is to always remember to get headshots on the sniper. The sniper is not a moving target. They're still 
So get the headshot at it. If you take a body shot, you get 70 points. You get the headshot, 200, 250, 225 points. That's a big difference. So go for the headshot, guys. All right. So that will do it for me on this video this week. I believe I believe. So this is a really, really fun map. I really enjoyed it. Uh, I think the setup is a typical sniper strike setup. A lot of chaos going on and you just got to um, look at the chaos and see where the focal point is of where you're going to get all your um, your points. And hopefully um, I gave you some tips here that would improve your score. If so, please, please let me know in the comment section what you think of the video. Peace out. Target neutralized.